Hi guys, alright, so today's video is going to be a bit more of a kind of a more fun, just like looking forward into time to see what uh, potential uh, snowstorms we may see moving into the kind of short uh, m um, medium range future. Uh, see what uh, potential snowstorms, particularly the Northeast, could see. Um, and uh, today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, the potential of maybe a snowstorm that uh, could occur around January 12th, which would be uh, right around a week from now or so. So it, it's kind of around a time frame now that we could start maybe talking about it a little bit. So uh, this that's what this video will be to, uh, about today. And uh, though I do want to say uh, tomorrow I am planning to do a top 10 video, which is going to be very exciting, uh, which is going to be really st the beginning of when I'm going to really try to start doing a lot more of these top 10 kind of weather-related videos. Um, so uh, tomorrow's top 10 video will be focusing on uh, last year's hurricane season. So if you guys are at all interested in that, I don't want to give anything else away. That's all I'm going to say about that. But if you guys are all at all interested in that uh, potential um, video tomorrow that I am planning on doing tomorrow. Uh, please look forward to tomorrow because that will likely be what uh, the video will be tomorrow. So, all right, let's get started with today's video. All right, so we are currently looking at the GFS model, and I'll show you the GFS model, CMC model, and European models as usual to see what each of these three models are showing for the potential of maybe a snowstorm for the northeast going towards the beginning of next week so around right around a week from now so all right let's move this forward from today this is the gfs model first and we're moving through this week you can see pretty pretty quiet week generally for the northeast new england mid-atlantic areas uh there might be some a uh, bit of a storm system to the farther south towards uh, the southern mid-atlantic towards the northern southeast portions um, but that looks to generally just go offshore it doesn't look to be much of anything though we move forward towards the 11th now and the 12th you can see here's the beginning of the potential the potential of a snowstorm that looks to be coming northward a bit right along the east coast heading up uh, north along the mid-atlantic northeast new england coastline you can see there's snowfall uh, sh they're showing snow potential for uh, you know, West, uh, West Virginia, all of, pr practically all of West Virginia, particularly Western Virginia, um, the eastern portions of Kentucky, very southern portions of Ohio. So, you know, that's, uh, that's interesting. Moving forward again, you can see they're showing the snowfall moving farther north and towards Pennsylvania, western New York State, a um, uh, lot of uh, western Virginia, <clears throat> And a uh, good bit of uh, Maryland, particularly that northern part of Maryland. You can see Baltimore, D.C. is on that right on that like rain snow line. Same thing with Baltimore, pretty much. Philadelphia does also seem to be right on that rain snow line. And then you can see here's that low pressure center they're showing currently. And this is now by around 7, 8 p.m. in the evening on Monday, January 11th. You can see the low pressure center they're showing is a. I believe that is a 990 millibar low pressure center, somewhere around there. Pretty, it's showing a pretty strong low pressure center, though you can see very heavy snowfall is being shown according to the GFS model. Um, that, uh, uh, again, is very towards the coast um, of the northeast mid-Atlantic, which is very interesting. And it includes Philadelphia, New York City, Boston looks to start to get in on that, Providence as well, Hartford and central Connecticut. Um, so that's very interesting, very heavy snow potential for there, um, according to the GFS model for the potential of this snowstorm. Um, and then there's uh, the lighter moderate snowfall still being shown for Pennsylvania, a lot of the rest of New York State, um, much, uh, a good bit of Massachusetts still. And uh, snow sh uh, sh being shown to start ending around West Virginia and Virginia by this time, which is again by 7, 8 in the evening on Monday, January 11th. Now let's move this one more frame forward, and you can see the low pressure center starts to move towards uh, Cape Cod and uh, coastal Rhode Island, Massachusetts, um, as a 992 millibar low pressure center. So it's a pretty pretty decently strong low pressure center um, being shown currently by the GFS, which is interesting for the the snowstorm. 
Uh, and you can see it's still showing snowfall going on for New York City, New Jersey, Long Island, Connecticut. E the eastern coast of Connecticut is being shown on a mixed rain line. Pretty much all of Rhode Island seems to be on a mixed rain line. And uh, very eastern portions of um, Massachusetts, including Boston and the Cape, are being shown on a mixed and heavier rain side. But uh, you can see snowfall is still going on again for New Jersey, New York City, Connecticut. M m most of Connecticut, heavier snowfall going on for Connecticut, New York City. Uh, a lot of central and western Massachusetts, southern um, Vermont and New Hampshire, and even Maine gets it on some lighter to moderate snowfall. You can see uh, much of New York State, though, as well, is still experiencing lighter to moderate snowfall. Pennsylvania snowfall is starting to come to an end, and then you can see the potential snowstorm starts lifting away from the northeast of New England and starts more affecting the northern portions of the New England and um, up, much farther upstate New York with lighter snowfall, and then you can see it starts pulling out of the region so that's very interesting and you can see actually um there is a pretty big cold shot of air moving into the northeast of new england um right um right after the system moves through so that's interesting um so depending on whether or not this system happens or if the system happens at all um it could be accompanied with maybe a potential large cool down for these regions as well so that's very interesting now let's look at what the CMC model is showing, the Canadian model. And uh, all right, so this is around January 10th. You can see again that uh, sis that uh, offshore system for the southern mid-Atlantic there um, and northern southeast is being shown just like the GFS model for around the 10th time frame, but it moves off far offshore of the northeast of New England. That uh, doesn't seem to be much of a threat to the northeast of New England, but you can see the uh, CMC model. Here's that potential snowstorm heading towards January 12th. This is by 1 to 2 a.m. on Tuesday, January 12th, you can see it's a much more spread out, not very con con concentrated, concise system. It's a much more uh, light and much more spread out system that still brings some light snowfall to generally all of the northeast of New England. Um, you can see it does form a concentrated low pressure center there, but uh, by the time that it's like in the Gulf of Maine and heading out to, into Canada and starting to pull away. So, but again, as well though, the Canadian model does show the potential of maybe a cool down, um, accompanying, 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 I can't say the word, accompanying this this potential system. That's the best way I'm going to say it right now. <laughs> best way I'm going to say that word right now. But uh, yeah, again, a cool down could potentially occur after right after the system comes through if the system does occur. So. Um, that is interesting. So the CMC model and GFS model, again, all uh, all three of the models, by the way, GFS, CMC model, European model, I, I looked at all of them prior to just recording this video, and they all show very different um, outcomes for this potential system right now. Of course, again, we are around a week out, so it's not really um, too trustworthy yet to really um, bite on to the fact that this system would, would occur, that this uh, kind of system would occur. But the particularly the GFS and CMC model are models are indicating the potential a, a good potential for maybe some kind of snowstorm system to occur for the northeast of New England going into around a week from now towards Monday into Tuesday. So that's uh, interesting. So that's what the CMC model is showing. Now let's show you the European model. Let's uh, here. Let's start around January eighth, and let's move this forward in time. Uh, let's. Um, move this, uh, move my computer a little bit to the side so you guys can get a more focused view on it. You can see we get towards January 10th. Not uh, the European model isn't really showing much of a, any kind of system like the GFS and CMC models were going off the southern mid Atlantic offshore of the northeast of New England, far offshore of there. And then we move forward again towards uh, January 11th, January 12th. Not really again showing much of any system occurring. There is actually, there is though showing, they are showing some, the European model is showing a system occurring again towards a further, much further and southern portions of the Mid-Atlantic, but then moving um, offshore entirely. So that, uh, that is uh, something to take into account as well. Let's again move this forward in time. You can see there's that system and it just moves, uh, man. This thing is really hard to control. Sorry. Um, you can see it. Uh, it really just doesn't do anything. 
it doesn't it doesn't do much of anything. It's not showing much of a system occurring for the much farther north and north much farther northern parts of the Mid Atlantic and the northeast of New England. You can see it's just very far southern, like Clipper, just like comes through the southern Mid Atlantic area, so maybe delivering some snow there to more southern Virginia, mixed in rain towards coastal Virginia, Delmarva. You know, so all three models are still showing a very very um, different solutions for the potential of this um, system towards the, for the potential of the mid-Atlantic Northeast New England for the system going towards around a week from now towards again uh, this next Monday and Tuesday so pretty much right around again a week from now um, so I'll keep you guys updated on this system it's very interesting it's caught in my eye over the past uh, two three days so I want to oops, sorry about that I want to uh, keep you guys updated on that as we head uh, throughout the rest of this week and getting much closer to, again, um, the beginning of this upcoming week towards um, next Monday and Tuesday to a, potentially around that time frame. So, um, so yeah, I, again, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, again, uh, tomorrow will be my first kind of uh, more interesting kind of top 10 video that I'll be putting out tomorrow. So hopefully you guys are pretty excited for that because I'm really excited to make that video for you guys because I, I am uh, thinking of a very interesting um kind of list for that top 10 to do for um relating to last year's hurricane season atlantic hurricane season so um really hope you guys enjoyed this video really hope you guys are looking forward to the video tomorrow it's going to be a very fun video to record and put out for you guys to um, watch so um again really hope you guys enjoyed this video really hope hopefully you guys are really looking forward to tomorrow's video again this video please consider liking the video commenting on this video and if you're a first-time viewer of this channel and you like what you saw in today's video, I, I do tons of this kind of content of these updates on winter weather. Uh, again, I did tons of tropical weather updates on all the tropical systems in the Atlantic last hurricane season. So if you guys like that kind of updates on weather events, major weather events, or kind of updates on the weather pattern for the U.S., I will be I do tons of that and I will continue to do tons of that on this channel moving forward. So if you find that kind of th kind of weather-related things interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.